It's Game Kings and Oilers. This time, we're taking you at Rogers Place for the Stanley Cup playoffs of Game 4. Right now, the lead is 2 1 Oilers. Pacific Division hostilities will be renewed on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski along with Ray Farrell. So glad you could join us. Enjoy the game, folks. Take it away, guys. Oilers goal. His first goal in the playoffs is scored by number 18, Zach Hyman. His first assist by Ed Beverly. And, and by Park Duncan. Time of the goal, 30 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 1 nothing in the first period. One shot on goal for Edmonton Oilers and no shots on goal for LA. Smith's going to elect for the face off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they leave this game. Kovacar's got that quick pick zone ability, guys, which means he can intercept passes and get back on the attack. McDavid's real zone ability means he's so fast, even when skating with the puck. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. That goes up a twig. Up along the wing. Puts it on that. And there's the save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Edmonton's looking to break out. Takes the feed. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Slides it back to the blue line. And that was stopped. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Kings win the draw. Take it along the wall by Downey. The Kings have the puck now. Tries to feed it over to Moore. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Los Angeles plays along the wing. Puck grabbed by Kane. And now he tries to get it across to Dreisaitl. Here's the chance. Denies him with the pad. Finds some space in the corner. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Puck scooped up by Anderson. Moves it quickly over to Moore. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. The Kings have it now. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Stick save and a view by Smith. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Still more time as it's still 1 0 Edmonton Oilers in front. Kopitar's won the face off oh. deep inside the offensive zone. Smith's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still got a lot of time out there. A lot of quick releases for Smith. LA's won the draw. And it blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Edmonton's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Los Angeles takes hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Keith. Blacks it into the offensive zone. The Kings gain possession in their own end. Through center. A little sideways on the play. It's a great opportunity they develop, but they can't hit the net just up over top. It's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had to go and hit a goal earlier on. And there's another stop. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kopitar. Slides the puck over. Oh, he got a little sliver of it and it stays out. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. Cuts into the paint. Nice save from point blank range. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. 
find a way to finish it off. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Tosses it on to Mata. The Kings move it in. Long range breaks up the momentum. Passes over to Vogel. Takes the pass. Here's a shot. Turns it aside with a glove. They go on the attack through center. Roy's got it in the offensive zone. Big time save by Smith. Smothered that in close camp. Pass to Bouchard. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Clyde save. He's on it tonight. Battling for it along the boards. The Kings will play it in their own end. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Well positioned save, and he has the rebound over in the corner. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Edmonton's read the play just perfectly tonight. It's like they have the book of the way the game is going to be played. Every time there's a moment of space that's available, they seem to shut it off. How did he stop that one? Quick's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Edmonton sub one zip. LA's got a hold of the puck. Tries to get it to Dowdy. Feeds it over to Brown. LA is ready to go on the attack. Moves it to Yamamoto. And now he angles it across to Nurse. With possession along the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Here in the back half of this period, Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. Tri-Sidus wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Yamamoto. Denies the shooter on that play. Receives the pass. And that's broken up. LA's got the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Dreisaitl. Tries to the crease. Monster save by Quick. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Here's a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Smith. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Pugliarvi's got it against the boards. Trust that puck tight into his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. You're exhaling already, but they got something else to go for. Los Angeles has it in their own end. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Kempe's got it into offensive territory. Quick shot, and that one's turned away. Picked up along the boards by Ayafalo. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Into the attacking area from the left side. Driving right to the front. And he elects to explore his options. Quick feed to Ayafalo. And they keep the pressure on. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here he is on the backhand. Stays with it. Denies him in close. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. And now he moves it to CeCe. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Here's the shot. Denies it in front. Oh, Bob stops him again. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Great heads up play with the stick by Anderson. Now a quick pass to Dowdy. Los Angeles has it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Kopitar's got it in the offensive end. Let's it go. And that goes off the player. They go on the attack from the left side. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. With the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Puglia Yarby. 
taken by Anderson. Slides the puck to Iafalo. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Iafalo's going to play it against the half wall. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Nice pass. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Tricycle's tape to tape zone ability means he can complete those firm, crisp passes that help keep the play moving. He's so effective at distributing the puck and setting up his teammates. Los Angeles wins the faceoff. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Tricycle sliding the puck behind the net. Comes up with a monster save in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Getting into the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Scrum ensues along the boards. Edmonton still a hold of it along the wall. Takes it into the slot! Oh, what a stop with the stick by Quick! I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. And there's a great save by Smith! And the puck's not loose. LA's got the puck. Edmonton's got the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Oilers played along the boards. Big time stop! Quick's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Sends it over to Moore. LA's got it in the offensive zone. Takes a shot with the stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. There's so, some uh, face-off wins here in between the Oilers and the Kings. And no close call has happened. There's a hit on the play. Sends a pass over. Sent into the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. Moves along the boards with some purpose. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Turns One minute remaining in the first period. Drives to the sweet spot. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. LA goal in his first goal in the season. Score by number eight, Roderick Arkansas. Assisted by number 24, and by number four, Colin Pumper. Time to go. 19:48 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. In the first period. Well, a little late going here for Kings, but we'll be right back after this. This is Oilers Country. Time for a second period. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Period number two now underway. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Kings are going to want to turn the page. Scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Los Angeles finally breaks the deadlock here, Ray. Finally a crack of light between the two teams. They've been on top of each other this whole game. L.A. goal, his first goal of a season, scored by number 39, uh, Kim. Assisted by number... Sends the pass 
Sport uh, Anderson. And by Don Elio. Time for the goal, 20 seconds in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Season scored by number 71, Connor McDavid. His first assist by number 22, Mike Burry. And by number 85, going at time of a goal, 243 remaining in second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. That's at a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. I should have called for the first goal of the playoffs. Season score by number 34, and Dreisaitl. Assisted by number 97, and Keevan. Time of the goal, 425 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Two, stop. And it can be the 
Oilers goal, a second goal in the playoffs, number 91, Evander King, assisted by number 42, Michael, and my number 27, Colin Kutchel, time of the goal, 6 3 2 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Assist by number 18, Brian Aiden, and by number 23, Ivan Kurnalko. Time of the goal, 5.33 remaining in the first, second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Kings win the draw, moves it to Kempe. The Kings move to the offensive zone, lets it go. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Into the offensive zone. Oh, and there's a great save by Quick. Taken along the wall by Hyman. And that's picked off in front. Gains the zone through center. And that's blocked away. The Kings carry it along the wall. With the backhand. Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop at the toe. Edmonton's coaches have nothing but positivity behind the bench. This has been a dominant performance. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Moving into the attacking zone. And that carries off a stick. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. win it. And now it's grabbed by Beery. That's kicked away with a pad by Quick. Dowdy's loving the puck. Quick feed to Arvidsson. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delay penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Let's get the call here. The Oilers will lose. Edmonton the penalty, oh. number 37, Warren Fogel, two minutes for tripping. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. 
And in full goal, two minutes for tripping here are the, the Edmonton Oilers. It, two minutes left for the LA Kings power play. running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Here's a short pass to Ian Fowler. Stones him in front. Receives the pass. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Goalies love making the glove save. Whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one, they love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick pass to Kopitar. Stopped by the goaltender. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to me. Kopitar is at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Ryan's won it in their own end. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. LA's got a hold of the puck now. Edmonton's back to even strength. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Look to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. On the attack along the boards. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Keeps the hold of it on the play. Edmonton scudded across the line. Moves it quickly over to Kane. And that one's blocked. Takes the feed. Goes right to the crease. That goes off a twig. Smith's going to hang on for a whistle. Kopitar's leadership is often by example, not so much with some great speech in the locker room. They need action now. They've got to get back in this game, and the captain's going to have to lead them to it. Los Angeles has possession of the puck. Puck grab by Kopitar. Handles it along the blue line. Answered the call on that play. If you're going to leave a rebound, it might as well be 30 feet away from the net. That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. McDavid's taking it from his own end. LA's got it in the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Snaps one from the slot. Oh, what a blocker by quick shot on net gets in front of it and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again Edmonton's won the face off blocked in front the Kings will play it from the defensive zone puck battle along the boards Los Angeles plays it up ahead. Here's a chance right in the slot and makes the save. Nice pass. Barry's got it across the line and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. One minute remaining in a second period. Goal 
his second goal in the playoffs, scored by number 72, Aaron Dreitzel. His first assist by number 56, Michael Yamamoto. And by number 11, Helen Rotsville. Time to go, 11 minutes, 32 seconds in the second period of Stanley Cup playoffs. Wow, looks like the uh, Canadian team is trying to get, is trying to look a punch out here in game four against the Oilers. We'll see how well they do in the third period when we come back. Are you ready? Let's get going. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. Well, this has been an absolute blowout for the first two periods. We get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Oilers have been terrific for 40 minutes now. A comfortable lead that they'll just try to ease their way into the finish line. Face-off, Logan as both centers get into position. The Kings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends a pass over. Taken by Kopitar. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Along the half wall with the puck. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Into the attacking end. Shot. No, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Los Angeles takes possession off the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Maintains possession. Puck picked up by Julio Yarby. Along the wing up the neutral zone. There's another for the hit parade. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Kopitar. The Kings take it along the wall. Oh, look at this chance. Oh, it stays out. We got a piece of that one. Makes a move in front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. A chance in front! Oh, that's a big time save! I think he got him with a toe! Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Season scored by number 29, Tyson Barr. And by assist by number 39, Colin Curl. Time at a goal. Three minutes, 4.42 remaining in a third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. First goal in the playoffs.
takes the feed. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Over the line they come. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. McDavid's got it in the defensive end. Yamamoto's got it along the wing. Denies him! He reads that play and sees a little sliver of daylight. He's on his horse now. They're not going to catch him. Feeds the puck over to Iafalo. Drives it to the crease. Grabbed along the board by Kopitar. Back to the blue line. Denies him! He got all of it! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. LA's won the draw. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. The Kings take possession off the face-off. Rocked him along the wall! Wow, did he finish that check off hard? He had him in the lights and he didn't let him out. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Here they come on the attack! Puts the puck on net! Oh! Off the inside of the post! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Edmonton's won the draw. Takes the pass. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Time and goal, 9 minutes, 9.43 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Great, but these wild high scoring affairs, they're the most fun to call. 
and by far the most fun to play in. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. They still have some more time here for the Kings. 7.58 to go. Tricite has won the faceoff. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Barry. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Moves it to Tricite. Blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Dowdy. Quick feed to Iafalo. LA's got him along the wall. And no luck on that pass attempt. And he makes the save. Delay penalty looming. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Edmonton penalty. Number 25, Darnell Nurse. Two minutes for holding. Before you, you gotta have a short memory. What you have now is Darnell Lewis for the Edmonton Oilers. Sure and two minutes about. for holding in the board. Two minutes left here for the LA's power play of the Kings. Nugent Hopkins hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Floats it right onto the tape. The Oilers moving in. That's not going to fool him. The Kings gain possession. Come point blank. How did he stop that one? Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Kopitar has won it off the face-off. Moves the puck to Arvidsson. From the left side, they gain the zone. And he puts that one aside with ease. Shot, and there's another stop. He's saving him again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. Nugent Hopkins and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Kopitar's won the draw. Takes the feed at the point. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. LA's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. L.A. goal is first goal in the playoffs of the power play. Score by number 11, Colton Kopitar. His first assist by number, number 34, Ben Kirkman, and by number 8, uh, Gibbs Slab. Time of the goal, 6, 4, 15, 43 remaining in, in this third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. McDavid's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it up, hey. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Here's a shot, good save. Smith's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on him pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Los Angeles will go to work here in the offensive end. And that goes off the player in front. Puck scooped up by Hyman. And now he passes it to Pugliarvi. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hyman. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, what a save in front. Peterson's right on top of that chance. Great A spot, great A save. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Edmonton. 
Legends on the attack. Here's a chance. Clyde save. He's on attack. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. LA's gained possession. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes it to the net. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Smith. Slides it back to the blue line. The Kings have it now. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Carries it across the line. Takes a shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Peterson. And that pass is redirected. LA's got the puck in the defensive end. Through center along the wing. Handles the pass from the right wing. The Oilers don't really miss a beat when the second line has it going. They look confident tonight, and the coach is smart to get them on the ice a lot. Los Angeles tries to break out from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop. The Oilers scooping up a One low. minute remaining in the third period. by number 37 and well Hopkins and by number 32 Colin Kokar time of the goal 11 32 remaining in a third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs What a game. Oilers crushed the Kings in game four. They now have the extension 3-1. And the next one, that could be a win game game here in LA if they can try to stop them down. Well, that turns to be 9-4, your final score in game four. Let's check out your three star players of the game. Starting off at number three, we have is Zach Hyman. Two goals, one assist, and two hits here in the game. Just gotten better solution here with the start of the first period. 
What a great start. Number two is Leon Dreitzeidel. Two goals, one assist, and one hit. All turned out for one. It did happen, just like he did before. And for number one, guess who had better? It was Evander Kane. Two goals, one assist, and three hits. So I'd like to thank you all for watching of this game. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would highly recommend you do so. Or else, if you don't, somebody will. And check out the next game, thus we will be having a number one to give it an eyes on on the topic right down here in below. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot more happening here as you will have Toronto and Tampa Bay playing here the next game at Amali Arena. And then we just got the finishing parts here of this game as we are heading your way down to game number five as we will have the next matchup to take it on. The Florida Panthers and the, Car and the Capitals. Then the Western Conference that will be bringing things back and even again, the Calgary Flames and the St. Louis Blues. For the other team, it can be very difficult to make a challenging off to a face-off moment to make the play even more attacking going on here if there's a chance here of game number five. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and remember, there's still more time here at that point, and only one team had made it to the first round on their way to the second round. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs of the NHL 22 dial. This is me, Son of Beast, signing out. Thank you for all for tuning in for this game. Get on safe, everyone. Good night in Edmonton, Canada. Did you know? Somebody.